Today is the fifth anniversary of DACA, President Obama's program deferring deportations for illegal immigrants who arrived in the United States under age. Despite promising to do so during the 2016 campaign, the current president has not yet ended the program. The administration says it's still under review. Demonstrations in support of DACA were held around the country today. Marielina Incapi is the executive director of the National Immigration Law Center. She wants DACA to remain in force, and she joins us tonight. Thanks all for coming on. Um, so Thanks for the you invitation. want it to remain uh, in place. It's an executive order, not a law. Why not do it the American way, the Democratic way, and have the Congress pass it? Why aren't you lobbying members of Congress to embrace your view? Yep. So thanks again for the invitation, Tucker. The thing is, DACA is working. It's been in place for five years. It's been part of our economy. As of today, we have nearly 800,000 young immigrants who have come forward voluntarily, have trusted the federal government, passed a national security test uh, and screening, and have paid a fee. And they've had this temporary protection from deportation. Uh, in keeping the program in place, President Trump has made a decision so far and has seen that it's actually working and he himself as he's learning about the program and learning about these so-called dreamers or young immigrants um, has talked about the importance of finding a way to keep right. them here and doing something good for them right that would be of course a direct betrayal of his campaign promises made repeatedly during the 16 campaign but still you're not answering my question which is in a democracy why shouldn't the people get to weigh in on this why not have Congress make this law and, and rather than this kind of jury rigged system which we have now and you know the answer which is people don't support this they don't want more illegal immigration into this country so we're bypassing their oh, will yeah. and just doing it through the white house right yeah, no, I completely agree with you, Tucker. Absolutely. Look, the DACA program is only a temporary protection from deportation. Um, and, you know, President Trump can continue the program in place and exercise the same presidential authority that previous administrations, like Republican administrations, like Eisenhower, Reagan, Bush Sr., et cetera. But at the end of the day, I agree with you completely. We need congressional action. Um, dreamers should but, be put on a road to citizenship. Yeah, but let's be real. Look, you do this for a living, so you know as well as I, better than I, the amount of lying around this issue. So Democrats are jumping up and down. It's, you're a racist, you hate children if you're not for DACA. But they're not leading the charge in the Congress to vote on this. Let's see the legislation. The legislation that says, hey, if you make it over the border and you're under 18, you get amnesty. That's what DACA is. Why don't they just codify that in the U.S. Code? Because they know voters don't want it. That's why. People don't want more illegal immigration. And so they won't so try and actually, pass it as a law. Right. No, there are actually efforts right now, Tucker, right? So the DREAM Act was introduced recently by uh, Senator Graham and Senator Durbin. There are about five, seven other bills, both in the Senate and the House. The polls actually so show uh -huh. that Americans do support dreamers, and in fact, some of your own um, Fox News uh, colleagues, right, like Charles uh, Kropheimer, um, Rush Limbaugh, all talk. I mean, even Rush Limbaugh says, right, this is logical to provide. <laughs> I don't think a that's how you pronounce his name, but dreamers. still. But, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. The country is crowded in a lot of places. There were 320 million people here. If current immigration continues, we're going to get to half a billion by the end of the century. You know, that's a lot. That's an awful lot of people. And I think that if you were to say to the public really clearly, anytime someone comes into the country illegally under 18, they automatically become a U.S. citizen. I think you'd find support for that would be, I don't know, maybe 10 percent. Like nobody would no, be for that. Let's be honest. Yeah. But Tucker, you know, you're a smart guy. And that's not what the DACA program does. The, talk, the DACA program or the yeah, Dream Act, right, yeah, talks about a small category <laughs> of people who ha came when they were children. Uh -huh. I mean, look, they have grown up here. They've gone to school here. With DACA, many of them have bought cars, have bought houses, are paying for their college tuition. It is completely illogical. It makes no sense. Well, getting no know that. It, it, it makes no sense to enforce your immigration law. This is insane. No, this is insane. You no, are no, you are yes, it is. you are saying that people who break the law ought to get a special pass because they have political clout. That is not the way it's supposed to work. If you think that anyone who comes here underage illegally should become a citizen, pass a law that says that. But this is basically the executive that. branch of government saying to the Congress, we don't care about your laws. And that's why it's being challenged, well, look, of course, in the courts, as you know. 
No, listen, the DACA has been challenged in the past and it's lost, right? Both the state of Mississippi, the ICE agents tried to challenge DACA. It actually has survived legal muster. On the other hand, though, one of the things is that in the both DACA or DREAM Act uh, context, we're talking about individuals who've been here for many, many years, who came when they were children, who have to pass certain criteria and would then be eligible. It's not an automatic uh, simply because you came unlawfully and you were under 18, you're eligible for that and it, it's it's a there's a reason that this program has survived for the last years and has been in place even in the first eight months of this administration it makes logical sense it's good for our economy it's good for America and your viewers know that and President Trump right. should exercise his, <laughs> his presidential authority and should not uh -huh. allow himself to be bullied by people like Paxton in Texas uh-huh. Okay. Good for the economy. I wish we had more time and you could explain in some detail how it's good for the economy. I know. Happy to come um, back and talk about yeah. that. <laughs> good luck with that. Marlita, thank you for that. Good to see you. Thank you, Tucker. Really appreciate it.